right, Jojo from Miles Split here with Drew Hunter, a newly signed Adidas athlete. Uh, what's this journey been like? When did you first start thinking about going pro? Uh, yeah, it's been a crazy few months. Um, back in January, after I ran, um, broke the high school record indoors, was kind of, I guess, the start of um, the option. Um, and it's been kind of like progress from there and everything. But yeah, that was that was when the three the 7:59 3K I think got people's attention in the um, shoe company and uh, um, agent world, and then the two sub four miles indoors kind of uh, jump started everything. And yeah, and so ever since then it was kind of um, uh, I had the option and the um, laying on the table and it was kind of just deciding whether I wanted to um, give up college, uh, collegiate running, or um, go pro. And so yeah, it's been since then. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, was were there any other companies involved in the mix or was it always Adidas? Uh, no, it was just Adidas. Um, it was, uh, you know, the, the way it worked out, it was just, um, I was, it was basically an agent through um, just I was going through Adidas, and so I didn't. We didn't think about negotiating with other companies because I just kind of that we we thought when we started doing that it might get everything would get out and get too complicated. And um, um, I, you know, I really wanted to, if I decided to do it, I really wanted to work with Adidas. I think they have a really good um, good team and good reputation. And, uh, it was just it, it it was a good option that it was something that I thought would would work well without having to go through other companies. And uh, what are the terms of your contract? Uh, I'm not like legally allowed to uh, discuss those, but yeah, it's it's um, the most the most important thing is I will be able to still attend school. Um, so that's I think a lot of times people kind of freak out and they say, oh, he's not going to college and stuff. I'm I'm still going to go to college. It's just not run for a collegiate program. Gotcha. Um, and. I did read somewhere that it was for, for 10 years. Yeah, okay. I have been for 10 years, yeah. Gotcha. And, um, yeah, so the college piece is in there whenever um, I decide. I'm probably most, the, goal, the plan right now is to take a gap year and basically figure everything out, get my feet wet, and then decide um, whether I'm living at home and going to George Mason or the community college near my house. Um, it's all up in the air, but, yeah. Gotcha. So, so that, that is one of your... Uh, options right now is, yeah. to, is to continue to yeah. train at home? I mean, I'm really comfortable there. I have um, my parents are the high school coaches, so I, you know, I can use the high school track, the high school weight room. I have, you know, great places to run. I have teammates on the team who are, you know, I can still run with them on easy days and meet up for guys with long runs. It's obviously not like a group or anything, but it's, it's, it's a really good place to, you know, just continue doing what I'm doing. I'm very comfortable there, and I have like a routine of, you know, just where I run is I'm comfortable with, so it, it, it is an option. It's kind of up in the air, and I guess it's my call. Where, right. Yeah. Uh, I guess if if you were to, if you didn't do that and you were to join a group, mm -hmm. are there a couple of groups you're thinking about? Or? Um, not really. Um, I couldn't tell you like specific groups. I mean, there's obviously a few. There's a Adidas sponsored group up in Boston. Um, I, uh, you know, there's you know we we're joking. Um, earlier, you know, running with like Ron Warhurst and um, the Very Nice Track Club earlier, he was over here and so we were just like, he was kind of teasing me about that and stuff, but I mean, it's really, um, it's something I haven't really um, looked into. I've, I've done well running training by myself and I think it's just, um, I think that's working right now and I don't want to mix anything up too much, so I think for right now, you know, I'll have my high school, my high school teammates and my friends um, that have been good, good good training partners when I can conveniently can have them so yeah I mean that's kind of the gotcha. plan. Mm -hmm. uh, one, one Adidas 1500 runner who will be in that final Robbie yeah. Andrews he's not too far from you. Yeah no I mean uh, maybe maybe um, I can go up there and run with him and Vidge uh, they're obviously got a great great system and he's running um, incredible and I hope I hope he uh, makes the Olympic team I'll, I'll be rooting for him. And uh, to go back to one thing you mentioned earlier, how you've always really liked Adidas products. Uh, mm -hmm. I think one thing that some people noticed was when you wore that, uh, the jersey, with oh, the yeah. SW HP, yeah. HP. And the first time you wore it, it was a Nike's, uh, Nike yeah. logo. The second time was Adidas. Yeah. 
Uh, what's the story behind that? Well, actually, um, a guy who works with uh, Adidas products, who I actually know, and who's who's a friend of mine, Nick um, Roche. He he was actually here earlier. Uh, he made that singlet just because he works for Adidas now, and so he's like, "Hey, I'll just send you this now because I work for Adidas." So, oh, <laughs> so okay. it wasn't like anything like. Um, Had he worked for Nike before? Yeah. Or was it? <laughs> oh, kinda, really? Yeah, okay. So. Well, he was an intern over for Nike Elite Camp. He was like an intern, so yeah. But he kind of just did. Um, sent it to me and said, hey, if you want to wear it, go ahead and stuff, so, yeah. Well, it's a popular shirt. I've seen a lot of guys oh, walking yeah, around yeah, wearing no, he, it. <laughs> he, he was out there wearing it yesterday, so, um, yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty pretty, pretty cool stuff. Is that where you're going to start racing in, or do you know oh, what no, you're... Oh, I, no, I, I'll probably just wear the singlet that yeah. uh, Adidas has. But, have you gotten all your gear yet? Um, yeah, I've, I got a lot of it. I have to, um, I'm going to the, the ESPYs for the Gatorade Awards after this, so I'm sending most of it just back to my house, and having just a few things like some running shoes and running shorts and stuff to get through the next four or five days until I'm back at my house. So yeah, but um, yeah, lots of lots of lots of cool gear, lots of stuff that I'll get to um, be able to rock from now on. So <laughs> it'll be it'll be fun. And how is your training going right now and, and how's your you've had Lyme disease yeah. for a little bit now. Yeah, it's great. Um, I'm feeling so much better than I was a few weeks ago. I did a workout yesterday, um, back training and um, I was out for, I mean, I, I say out as in like, take a, took a few days off, jog for a little bit for pro roughly about like a week, a week and a half of not doing much and been on antibiotics for four weeks now. So I'm feeling so much better than I was and uh, I think people have like a kind of, uh, I don't know, they just, they hear Lyme disease and they think of really bad things but really we caught it early and I mean I'm planning to race in August potentially so I mean I'm, I'm feeling so much better and we'll see how I feel in the next couple of weeks but yeah it's I'm, I don't expect to go back again to where I was I mean it's just kind of been like this the last couple of weeks nice mm -hmm. uh, is there a certain race that you want to run in August um we were looking at a few just a few local ones like there's a, a mile down in North Carolina and um, just something to kind of just, I mean, there's no expectations since I've missed so much of running and racing. and um, So it's just kind of, um, it's up in the air. There's another race in um, Falmouth uh, in um, Massachusetts. That's, I don't remember, August 22nd, I want to say. Mm -hmm. That's another option. So just kind of some local, just to kind of get my feet wet. Really yeah. no expectations, just go run and have fun. So, which is which is nice, which I kind of want to get back to anyways just racing so yeah is it a little bittersweet to be here at the trials this week yeah definitely I actually like I actually didn't want to come just really? uh, yeah I was just I really and anyone in my close circle knew like I really wanted and knew I could be here and um, just seeing what I was doing in practice just seeing how everything was going and then you know something that you can't really control which I had an issue about it's just you know, I got Lyme disease and there's nothing you can really do about it except for get better and that takes time and uh, I was really frustrated because I was just like I felt from indoor like I had such a big leap and it didn't really show until I because I didn't race much outdoor even um, and when I did race I ran it was you know it was, it was a lot of it was under hard training and it was really controlled and I was really just getting ready for the goal was to run really fast at pre and then um, qualify for the 1500 in um, in at the Adidas meet actually um, up in Boston and those are the plans and you know it didn't it, it fell through completely and I was really disappointed and um, I don't know kind of I think definitely kind of embarrassed too just because I had so much expectation that I knew I could go out and do it but it was just it didn't happen so I guess that's life and that's part of track is I mean, I see, I saw at the trials, you know, people who fell and should have made the team, and it's heartbreaking. So, I can't really sit here and complain too much because I'm 18 and I'll have a lot, a lot more stuff to do. But yeah, it was, it, it was hard being here. So, but I'll get over it. <laughs> uh, who are your your picks for the top three in the men's 1500? Uh, oh, I was talking about this the other day. I think the three that will make it, and I don't, I, I don't have any particular, will be Centro. Robbie Andrews and Ben Blankenship. I think those will be the top three. Well, no. Who knows? 
And, Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah. Based on the last couple of days, it whoever stays on their feet, and, yeah, <laughs> doesn't fall. So we'll see. For sure, it's been a unpredictable week. Yeah. Uh, especially with with your announcement. I think yeah. you stole the show a little bit yeah, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I threw things off a little bit. So. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> didn't mean to. <laughs> well, congratulations, Drew. Thank Good you. Good luck. Thanks.